Yeah, I'm Miles, Juno Falls, and you're looking at me on onemoretune.com. That's it. I wanted something beautiful because um, where we've been recording in, the, in West Cork, there's always a lot of stars, and it's very beautiful, and it's very mysterious. West Cork is a very... Um, beautiful place so I, Juno is a goddess and when I was looking through names of gods and goddesses and Juno just seemed to have the prettiness about it so went with Juno it's well, it's funny um, he kind of went to see a lot of bands but uh, it was my my mother <laughs> my mother saw him across the road and I uh, recognized that he was in crowded house and the band and that I was a big fan and I was a big fan of, of uh, Nick Seymour and not Neil Finn or anybody else, but Nick Seymour, the bass player, for some reason, because he was an artist. And um, it's my mother dragged him to one of my gigs when I was 25, so it was great. And then we got to talk afterwards, and he got to ask me about music. And I got to ask him about his, all his art for all the Crowded House covers. <laughs> but I, I, yeah, I, got, I bought a small camera two years ago, and um, since I bought the camera, I want to be a movie maker now. I think I'd like to I'd like to make a video for Atom Bomb. Um, it's number three on Weightless, and it's not a it's not a single. It's nothing I could um, release to the world, or um, I'd never it'll never make number one. But for me, it's it's a song that has in the in the lyrics. There's so much um, visually and suggest that I'm suggesting in the lyrics. Um, about about war and politics that I think it would be very interesting to make a video but it's just it would have to be quite a quite um, a, a big idea at the minute I just have the the words and the lyrics and they don't make the whole picture for me so one day if I meet somebody who who has the big idea I'd be very happy to make a video with them for Adam. Uh, no there's not there's not often po a political messages because I'm not um, overtly political and um, I've always kind of thought politics was crazy I understand we need politics to run our civilization but uh, you know I think I think differently about civilization um, I'm a bit of a hippie and um, but I think these days and um, hippie is just more about um, history and culture and appreciating uh, uh, pers people personalities uh, so politics for me is very <laughs> kind of irate and distracting, but when, just in terms of, of Bush and America and controlling us all with media and television, I, have, I, have, I, I, I do get quite mad, quite angry, but I can't say anything because I don't have any political back, back up. I just get angry, that's all. I'd like to think that after my experience, after my crash, that uh, the lyrics I write now and the melodies I write now, I write for my for myself, just for my for my heart. And before I would have I would have written songs for more for people to try and and just bring people in and get attention. Maybe I'd write for people about other people. And now I'm now I'm writing more for myself because I'm thinking if I if I had died or if the car if I'd never came away from the crash. I, I would have only have left stories about other people and I really want to start writing more about myself. And because I'm doing that now, my music, personally, my music has just um, been affected by something that feels strongly to me. Um, now there's so much more to, to songs. I've discovered so much more. Even Weightless now is just like, I can't wait to make a third album. You know, I just can't wait. You know? so I learn. I learn a lot every year. I'm, I'm a late, a late bloomer. Car accident and a lot of other things. I mean, the car accident was a, a traumatic thing, um, and it just it did make me think because I'm an artist and it, I kind of went inside myself for a while and just thought about a lot of things about my life and what about what I want to sing about. Um, just just came out, but now. It wasn't. It wasn't too much of an impact. Mo living in Dingle, and getting to know people who, li who live in Dingle, who have never lived in a city, um, that also taught me much. You know, I, I got a lot from that, and I made a lot of friends in Dingle.
I realize that life is about doing favors. Um, in, in Dingo, if you do somebody a favor, they'll do you a favor and vice versa. And then the whole village, everybody does each other favors and they make life very easy for themselves, very easy. And so that also inspires, inspired me as well as the whole car crash. It's about um, an old relationship. I, I, it's about a girlfriend, but it's about alcohol. Uh, when I say you in Slowly Fizzy, I'm speaking to um, a drink. So you catch me and whatever, everything, it's you. It's, I'm, I'm speaking to the drink. It's like, it's because drink destroyed a relationship of mine before, just where I depended on drinking and I depended on being blind because I, I think I wanted to, to be blind. Because I think I, re I realized somewhere deep down that it, that it wasn't right, the relationship. And so I'm, I, I went drinking and because I did that and because I shut myself off, um, I, hurt, I hurt somebody. So that's what Sully Fizzy is about. Yeah, I started playing in Dublin 12, 12 years ago, just as a teenager, just playing in bands. And I've, I've been here on and off for 12 years. I start. Um, my big, big job was in Lanzarote in the Canary Islands. I played for for three years, um, every every night. And then when I came back to Dublin, I was like, no more other people's songs, just no. And started to write, and that was five years ago. At all covers, yeah. Right. Mustang Sally, that kind of rubbish, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's terrible. No, I, I played as many good songs as I could. I, in a holiday resort, people are all, oh, do you know what he has, la? or do you know what he does, you know? So, I, I didn't want to play songs for them, but I did learn, you know, Sinead O'Connor or Paul Brady or any, some of the songs from The Frames and just some just good Irish music for people, but they were never happy. And they wanted to hear Christy Moore and the Dubliners, and it's like, no. So, but I did enjoy it. I, I always picked songs I loved. I've been a busker for many years, and but as I got older, I just felt more like I wanted. I wanted it to be more. It didn't feel real anymore. It just felt like people were walking past, and I, I might catch somebody, but it's not fair that they're standing on the street and it's raining or it's windy and they can only stay for one song. I just, in the end, it wasn't fair for me and it wasn't fair for them, I don't think, really. I wanted to bring people into gigs.